it's Bettini Gow, and we are back over in Planet Zoo. And this episode is going to be a little bit different because it's got a mixture of um, video from the live stream I did and then just stuff that I did on my own. So I wanted to show you guys this beginning building. I, I made this uh, for an episode and then I decided I wanted to do something more custom. So I went ahead and just placed this. Um, these are like two separate buildings, so I'll show you what I did. And uh, yeah, then we'll get into it and see what fun we can have. And in the end, I will come back and do a, a real time, a little bit of a tour. And yeah, so hang out for that and uh, let's get started. All right. So they have some cool little blueprints here, I think. Um, so I used this one. And um, and also the single one um, for the other building here on the side. And so I just kind of changed it up. Uh, but I thought, you know what? I want to actually try to build something uh, from scratch. So that's what I thought we would do. So I thought, you know. Okay, so we're going to try some different stuff here, uh, but I tried to cut out what I could just because this is going to be kind of a longer episode anyways, but uh, I did want to use a lot of these uh, plaster pieces that are recolorable because I think they help out a lot. It kind of, I don't know, I don't like the gridded pieces, but after working with these non-gridded pieces, I kind of like it better because... Uh, you know, it, it snaps to the next area after you put it down, which is kind of nice. It just doesn't really matter too much with these small um, wall areas, but especially when you're getting into a bigger build, um, it definitely makes a difference. So I, I like these little trims here. I really think they are super awesome. I wish they, were, they came in some different sizes, like different uh, lengths which I think they do a little bit, but not the ones I need. You know what I mean? It, I don't know. I may just not have seen them, but yeah. So I wanted to do this uh, Africa column that we got because I think it is super cool. And it's big enough, I think, that we, um, we can use it. And I go ahead and try to pick out... If you, if you hit X on something and uh, you just go and select other things, it'll just kind of cycle through that, which I really, really like. And then here, all I did is delete that so I could delete the one um, but behind it, and uh, then I just undo after I get that selected. So it works out pretty good. I love that little shortcut. Uh, it definitely helps out a lot uh, in certain situations, at least. So. I try to avoid showing a lot of the camera movement. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I I just I don't like to watch videos that have really sped up uh, builds because it just I don't know I don't like watching it. So I try not to do that. Let me know uh, how I did. And um, here I am just trying to get some colors that I want to use. That I end up pretty much using throughout the whole thing. Uh, these are like the only colors I use. Uh, it kind of helps narrow down the decisions I have to make on the colors. Because I have kind of a hard time with that. If you guys haven't noticed. But uh, I think it turns out uh, looking pretty good in the end. With all the colors I chose. So now that I'm looking at it. I, I don't know. Maybe I should just flip that pillar and use that part as the bottom as well. I don't know. But I, I like it. So uh, we'll go ahead and copy that over. And then I am going to... I, I try to get these uh, three things selected. So I delete that and then try to select these and move them. Uh, do the control X to... Uh, copy and move them over and it doesn't work because these pieces are not um, They don't work that way. So you have to do each one separate which is kind of annoying <laughs> But I use this mosaic piece on the back uh, I think this turns out pretty good. I like how you can see the mosaic just through the little windows there 
and then I do eventually put something on the back so you don't just see that mosaic when you uh, walk into the building. But I like it. I think I like the little hints of color that come through those little windows there. You can't see it a ton, but I think it's cool. So I couldn't decide how long to make this, but I did want it to be, you know, a little bit of a hallway to go in. So we go ahead and copy these over. And here I just cut to where I'm doing the next thing, which is trying to figure out a top piece for this. Um, I was going to use like another mosaic type thing, but I just went for this wood wall, this wood wall because I really like it. And I think it adds a little bit of a texture uh, because at the bottom we just have the plain plaster walls. So I think it's, it's pretty cool. Well, I mean, they're not plain walls. They have windows, but you know what I mean. So uh, the only problem with these wood walls is they're not even, you know, on the top. So it's really hard to get them to look um, connected, especially if they're overlapping a little bit. So I cut out most of that, you know, where I'm trying to make sure they're, connected and not like sticking out at all which is is pretty difficult because you have to move the camera around quite a bit just to make sure it looks good from all angles so I definitely cut out uh, most of that but here I really wanted to do a little bit of a what would you call it does not a roof but just like a covering um Obviously, you know, if this was real life, you know, zoo, it would be, it would probably, you'd probably want to cover on it because it would, if it was raining, it would go right in. But, uh, I think it works for, for this. And I spent quite a while trying to figure out a color, so I didn't leave all of that in. But here we're trying for the path here. I cut out a lot of that, and if you see this yellow grid, it flashes, like, really bad. So I don't want to keep too much of that in. But what I did is copy all the buildings from the other areas, um, the blueprint I brought in, and also the food area that we had um, uh, across the path there. So this is going to be kind of a, re a replacement for all of that because we don't need that little food area since we've got this one here, but it does need power, so I went ahead and put a transformer here on the other side of the staff room, and um, it'll power pretty much everything that we need now, so uh, I don't, I'm not going to worry about doing a solar because then you wouldn't be able to put it in the building, but uh, I'm trying to, I think I'm going to do the plaster walls around this whole thing. Um, again, I like these plaster walls because they're recolorable and they work off the grid so if you do want to put it somewhere um where you know a gridded piece wouldn't let you it's it's pretty convenient so we'll go ahead and do that and obviously cut uh, because you guys i mean i just place walls so <laughs> you guys know how to do that right but we'll go ahead and use these pillars i use these pillars a lot of places in this building and here I'm just, I'm trying to figure out a decorative archway, but I, I left this in, uh, just because so you guys can see what I did, but yeah, I decide not to do that. I just go ahead and take the mud walls from over there and, and put them here as well, which after seeing like the end cinematics and, um, or doing those, I realize I really need to add something on that wall on the other side from where we're looking right now. Because it's just blank. So, I don't know. We'll see what we can do there. But again, I'm using these trims. Like I said, I really like these. Um, I just think they're super cool. But, and you could either bring them out where you don't see any color or, um, you know, there's a lot of variety that you can do to place those, which is pretty awesome. So, we'll go ahead. I, I tried for a little decorative plate here um I think in the end I decided to take it uh take it off because yeah it's uh I don't like it <laughs> so um we get that done and um I put the lattice stuff on there I think that's what it's called and here I'm just putting the fronts of the shops um and covering up this whole thing 
so you don't see the bathroom area. Um, I do change this bathroom area a little bit, but uh, we'll do that in a second. And then more, more of these pillars. Like I said, put a lot of these pillars in. And here I'm just uh, continuing this wall here with the... Uh, I don't know what you... I don't know what that wall is called, but with those walls with the little windows in it. And uh, I just put these around the front. I don't put them around the back. I don't know if I'm. I don't know if I'm gonna put them around the back, honestly. So we go ahead and just fill up this. And this trim is also just handy for covering up those seams from the you know regular plaster walls to the mud walls. I think they are pretty cool. So I'm trying to figure out something to do with these uh, window surrounds. I don't know what you, the facades. But I I give up in the end. I don't I don't figure it out. So they still don't have anything. It's just plain for now. Um, we'll see what happens later. But go ahead and split that from the grid so we can uh, kind of turn it to work on this corner here. And I realize that I don't think the design really matches up yet because I haven't changed it. But you know it it goes okay. And then I just use regular mud pillars for the in between these shops. Uh, I think mainly because the other pillars, uh, for one, it seemed a little too much. And for two, I don't think they were big enough to fill in some of those areas. Like you can see, this one is still not quite big enough. But we do okay. And I kept this in even though I don't use this floor. But um, I wanted you guys to see that's what I started with. And obviously, you can see I did the whole floor here. But I, I just, I think it's too bright. Um, I don't know, too much of a contrast. Let me know what you guys think. I kept it um, for quite a while, but I eventually just deleted it because um, I come up with something different. So, uh, which I kind of like better and I kind of don't. I don't know. But, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, I use a lot of these half walls uh, because just to fill in the gaps. Because using the full walls just to fill in a little bit of a gap just seems like kind of a waste to me. So I use a lot of the half walls. And here we go ahead and enclose the transformer. Which I do change up this design a little bit. So I don't think I put this whole, uh, this whole design in right now. But I kind of liked it back a little bit, so that's why I, I started putting it straight. But I was like, no, nah, I like it kind of back, so it's kind of recessed in there. Here we put a couple of those pillars on this side just to, uh, you know, just to use them. I think they're cool. I like those pillars. And this wall, I can't figure out, but when you do the turns there, sometimes it doesn't connect. It only connects in certain spots. It's kind of weird. But, yeah, so I just show you some of this work that I did to get this uh, extra half wall up here just to cover up the rest of the columns and stuff like that. And here I use the other mud pillar that's just the smaller one to fit up here on the top, which is definitely a perfect fit. So I like that. Um, works out pretty good. So I figured out here that I probably should have done a door just to make it look more like a staff entrance. I could probably go back and do that and just use the door that we're using on the other side. And uh, I'm messing with the colors here again. I, you know me in color. It takes me a while to figure it all out. But we got it done, and I think I like it. I... I I don't know what it is, but I like the greenish color. Uh, I, I call it blue-green color, but uh, I really like that. It's awesome. So here I'm trying to do some kind of a staff room door uh, for this entrance here. And uh, I do try to do a bathroom door, but I cut that out because I end up doing something totally different. So it works out. But... I couldn't figure out a door, so I went with this one even though there's no handle on it. I do had add a handle um, for some reason. I guess I took that out, but you'll see it eventually. I'm going to put the time up here for the real-time tour if you guys want to skip to that. But yeah, so we're going to do some signs here for what is in this uh, building. I can't really say shop because it's food 
and shops and info. So I'm not sure what to call it. But uh, yeah, so we do food and drink and then we do, um, I don't know, info and gifts, I think is what I do. We'll see. So again, with the colors, uh, I just really go for the colors that we've already used. Uh, for one, because they're in the recently used colors thing, so it makes it a little bit easier. But, yeah, I think it looks pretty good in the end. Um, I do cut it. You don't really see the final color, but there you can see it's just the red for the words. But, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and put some more of those pillars around. Um, like I said, I love those pillars. I don't know. They're just super cool. Um, but we go ahead and... Um, do this trim and make sure it's around the whole thing. I think this is the only wall that I didn't get it around. Obviously, it's not behind the the uh, shops there because the, there would be no reason for that. But these aren't too bad to get to fit in um, if you have to overlap. But here's the other floor I, kinda, I came up with. Um, as you can see, I used the Africa theme. So, uh, I think this works out. The only problem is there, it's a little bumpy. So some places look a little weird when they're connected, especially when you, when I have to do this. Um, but I think it looks okay. I, I like the way the wood look is. And then, uh, I just show you a couple of these areas that I do that where you have to select everything. And if it's in a group, all you have to do is click and drag to select it. So that's pretty handy, and then you just, you know, move it to where you need to. I think there may still be some areas I have to do that with. But here I went ahead and picked out this this trim. I thought it looked pretty good for, like, a threshold um, to cover up that weirdness there. And uh, then we do it over here for the beginning, and I do have to move the the floor over a little bit because I just can't get that lined up very well. But we do that. And then I also decided to put it uh, below here and also up at the top, which it doesn't quite look like it fits up at the top just because it's not aligned with anything. But, you know, nobody's going to see it, right? <laughs> it, it was just for me. I mean, you guys are going to see it because I just did it. But, you know. So... <laughs> I go ahead and uh, pick up this floor so I can do a little bit of an area here uh, around this blank area I made in the path because I wanted to put something here as like a centerpiece area. And so, yeah, I just use these same, um, I don't, are they pillars? I think, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I use these same ones to go around this little area. I just want to make a little bit of a garden in the in front because I think it will look pretty cool. So I just do a couple of these with you and then I just cut to where you guys can see, you know. I just copy them over to the other areas and they actually fit pretty nicely, which is kind of cool. I usually don't get that to cooperate, even if it's a perfect square. I still don't seem to get things to cooperate with me very well, but it's okay. So then we go ahead and you can see I still have that other floor up there. Uh, we go ahead and put that back down and uh, make sure to try to get it to fit right. Like you, you guys can see, it's just such a picky thing uh, with this floor because it's so uh, textured, I guess would be the, or contoured, something like that. So I want to go ahead and bring this out so we can have a little bit. It's kind of like a kind of like a skylight uh, and a little place for the trees to grow up. Um, I think it looks cool. And I bring this up just to kind of be a placeholder just so I can see where the center of this is going to be. And I'm not quite sure I got it right in the end, actually. But it's okay. So I went ahead and went for these plaster pieces for the roof as well. Uh, just a flat roof. Uh, because you guys know me and roofs. They are just, I don't know. I don't like them. But <laughs> I went ahead and did that. And then I also put um, two more in here uh, after we get that 
color done. Um, go ahead and split this and cut, uh, or no, I don't split it. I just duplicate it. Now I split it. And um, obviously I, I take out all the parts where I'm just moving around to see what, what fits. But here we got just a little skylight. I like it. And then um, again, we go for the Africa theme uh, because if we just go for the Afri Africa pack, there's not too many uh, trees in that. You, that'll fit in a building especially. But So yeah, I do a lot of going back and forth between the Africa pack and the Africa theme uh, just to get enough trees around. And obviously, I don't want it to be huge in the building. But uh, I, I like the little green area we've got going in here. And... Uh, just I put a lot of just grass in here it looks like or bushes maybe and um, put a couple of trees and I figure that's probably you know that's probably enough for this little area here I could go crazy on trees and and rocks and stuff and um, that's one of the cool the coolest things that's coming with the new uh, free update is the randomization option for when you're placing stuff oh that's gonna be so cool but, uh, yeah, if you guys haven't checked it out, I did do a video on the update. I will try to put it up in the card on the top right if you guys want to check it out. And, uh, yeah, it's super awesome. And uh, here is where I go ahead and uh, take out, you know, make this bathroom area bigger. And I think I still, I'd still make it bigger, actually. I make it uh, wider. Uh, but go ahead and just delete all of this because I don't like it. I, I didn't like the way uh, this was looking. So I was going for more of a um, wall where you just go around the wall to get, you know, you go to the left for the men's and the right for the women's, that kind of thing. So that's what I go for here. And I think it turns out pretty good. I like it. So for some reason, I changed that wall into a half wall or two half walls. I don't know why. But I do. <laughs> I, I didn't want you to be able to see the bathroom from the this area. So that's why I moved that around a little bit. And then I try to figure out something to put here for the restroom sign. I don't, I don't know why, but I don't really like this just plain square bathroom sign. I don't, I don't know why, but I don't. And I use more of these. I just copied it from the center area. So we could have this go, uh, you know, where it still shows you know, like men on one side, women on the other. Um, I don't know. I thought it turned out turned out okay. So I was looking for some kind of an arrow, and when I do the in cinematics, I realized that the arrows actually light up in this. Like I don't know if I like that because everything is super bright. I may have to like rethink all of the signs I'm using because they are all lit up and they're all really bright at night but go ahead and use this one I think it looks pretty cool um I don't know if it really goes with the theme of the building but you know it's it's a bathroom sign it'll work right <laughs> but um I don't know if yeah I think I cut this so you don't have to watch me debate on colors but here I go ahead and just push that wall back and I'm trying to figure out a better staff door. Um, so I end up going with this. It's just one of the uh, Africa pack doors that we got. Uh, or pretty much just planks. <laughs> it's like a plank. But then I also go ahead and use this for the uh, border of the door. Is that right? Board door frame. That's what it is. Um, <laughs> And uh, I think that works out pretty good because uh, I did just wanted it to be a little door. And I tried to look for a staff sign, like a staff only, or maybe just use the, the letters for that. But in the end, I, I didn't do anything with it. I need to add something because I realized I forgot to do that. But it's okay. We'll, we'll be fine, right? <laughs> so I uh, went ahead and did... Uh, I was looking for handles um I, I tried to do the brackets first thinking i could find something but it's gonna go into the wall if i do that so here we just use this handle from the africa pack and 
It, it looks a little more decorative than I would like, but it, it works in the end. And here we start with the signs. And I had this idea to make all of them kind of tilted a little bit. So that's what I tried to do. And I cut it here just uh, after I placed this one just to show you guys how I did it and what I did. And this one is the smallest sign. I really wish... I really wish they would be more consistent with the size of the signs because, man, uh, it's crazy. But <laughs> I wanted to have it look at least a little bit believable that it was, you know, actually attached to the wall somehow. So I was looking around for stuff. I was looking around for, like, rope or whatever, and I decided to go for brackets. So... Uh, that one was a little bit big, but I went with um, this one right here, and it's just a really simple bracket, and so I just put it behind these. I probably could have put it at the bottom, too, of the, of the bigger signs, but it was okay. So I put a couple, and um, these I just placed one there and then put one down over here, too. Uh, probably be more likely that they would have it even and like have it, uh, I don't know, attached with some kind of a rod or something, but I think it works. I mean, obviously you're not going to see it, but we get that done. And then I decided to make the ceiling color different because I wanted the ceiling and these little, um, pillars or whatever they are <laughs> to be a little different of a color. So Go ahead and change these two uh, as well. And I think I think I like this color. It, it adds a little bit of a contrast between, you know, the walls. And I like it. So I decide to add these little trims. It's the same trim we used for the threshold area. And um, I just wanted to add something to, to have the pillars go into instead of just being, you know being there it's like that's it that's all you get so I do a lot of moving around to make sure this is placed right but uh, again copy and you know move them over to the other sides but yeah the, here we I go ahead and um, add these uh, in a group and then I just move it down a little bit so it looks more um, I don't know. It doesn't look more uh, more on one side than the other. That's what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean. But go ahead and use these Africa tables. Um, they have two. They have this one, but I thought that was a little much. If we had used a different floor, maybe we would have done that. But I went ahead and went for the green just because, I, I don't know, I really like that color. So, we go with it. Uh, let me know if it's too much. Uh, you know, I can always change it. But, yeah, so I put those around, and then I decide to do these little flower pots here. I tried to do a centerpiece on the tables, but it just didn't work out. So, uh, I decided just to put this here on, the, uh, on this kind of blank wall, which I should probably put some kind of a picture here, too, would probably, probably help. But... I went ahead and did reset filters because, again, the Africa pack doesn't have, like, any small stuff, really. It just has the trees. So, we just do the Africa theme. And, again, I put it here and hit X so I can just, you know, put in other uh, pieces and see how they fit. So, these look pretty good, I think. So, I just could do a little bit of rotating so they don't look totally similar. And here I'm looking for some something to put here but all of these are like super huge so I went ahead and uh, decided I would put something here for a wall uh, trim or decoration these probably weren't the best to choose because they're super uneven um, so they don't really stick to the wall uh, but I like them I think they look pretty cool and I put them all around obviously I don't show all of that but uh, this is what I did <laughs> all over. So we get that done. I left that in because that was a little tricky because uh, I tried to get it to be hidden in the pillar. But, yeah, it was, it was a little tricky there. 
So this is where I add a little bit more wall because as you can see, this doesn't quite fit and I really didn't want to try to get it to overlap because these don't overlap well. So I just go ahead and add a little bit of wall and I select all the pieces and move them over a little bit just so they're more in the middle. I don't even know if that's like in the middle, but again, we take that door I made in the other room and put it here with the handle and um, then I go ahead and search for staff to put the staff room sign here. Uh, and it doesn't quite fit, but you know, it's okay. So <laughs> we'll go ahead and put that in. And I, I decided this hallway looks a little bit empty. So I did put some, some benches here. This one kind of goes into the wall, unfortunately. But, um, because I, I really wish you could just place benches wherever you want. Um, like they don't have to be on the path. Just make it a building piece, you know? I don't know. But here we do a little bit more on the transformer area. So um, I wanted to just have this controller sticking out because that's really all you would need to get to, I think, maybe. I don't know. I'm not, a, I'm not an electrician, so I don't know how that would work. But we'll go ahead and go with that. It is just a game, so, you know. <laughs> we'll go ahead and add these Arctic um, theme lights and again I'll use the uh, greenish uh, greenish blue color and um, I don't show all the placing of the lights and I don't know why that's not on the same level that is super annoying I noticed that after I w when I was editing this I'm like why is that not the same height but you know show you a little bit and um, go ahead and put all of these lights in I really didn't think I left that many to do in the speed build, but okay. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get outside and I wanted to add some rocks. So we we'll just add a couple of uh, rock areas here, not too much. And I could add some of the smaller rocks like in the ground, but you know, I, I think this looks pretty good. I didn't want to go too crazy with it. I do go a little crazy with the foliage, but you know, it's, it's because it never looks finished until you add foliage right it's always you know it looks okay and then you add the foliage and like that's what it needed and i don't know about these let me know what you guys think um i might ask you later in the real time as well but uh i don't know if maybe these are too like manicured like it, i don't know it looks i like the way it looks but it may be too manicured for like the front here i don't know so I go ahead and place it here and on the other side um, just to make them a little even. Obviously, the sides aren't even, but went ahead and added the Africa signs um, that, we, that we got. And I think it's really weird that this um, rhino design is so different than everything else. It's kind of odd, but we go with it. So <laughs> I went ahead and obviously I can't put the meerkats. Um, I mean, they have a meerkats and a Fennec Fox like statue. I guess I could put that in, but um, go ahead and move these around. And when I get this one in, I'm like, wait, those two are the two tall ones next to each other. I don't like that. So I move it around. <laughs> and um, yeah, so we got that little uh, bit of decoration there, which I like. And then I went ahead and got these planters, which I did have in that other blueprint thing I did earlier. But uh, go ahead and again, just hit X to get that um, object to stay so you can then go through the, the items and see which one you actually want to use. Um, there's some really big ones. I almost thought about using that one, uh, but thought maybe it was a little too big. I don't know. So... Go ahead and place those, and I decided to go ahead and change these colors to the ones that we're using everywhere else because, you know, why not? And uh, go ahead and just delete that one and, and copy this over just to make it uh, the same, uh, don't want to say distance, but the same alignment, I guess. And then I go ahead and copy these lights from over there, and then I think I just delete all of that because I don't need it anymore. And, um, 
Yeah, so it works pretty good. Oh, and the, this bush thing. I really like this. I like the color, and um, it's kind of like the hawthorn bushes. I really like those, and um, I copy these over from there. I just kind of, you know, take what I want from here, and then I'm like, okay, this is done. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. I know this roof looks a little boring because it's just flat, but uh, I don't know. I am horrible with roofs. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's bad. But uh, I go ahead and put this in, and I try to get it where the top of that pillar is still under the roof because I don't like that it sticks out, you know, kind of like the ones here on the front. They're just kind of there. I probably need to do something with that, but it, it'll work out. Right, and I wasn't sure if to go with this red on the pillar of that light or not. Is that too much? I think it's okay. Then I go with this uh, drin grass here and just copy it over, uh, copy it a few times to make it look a little bit more full. And I started to put these lights here, but I decided to put them down here in these window areas instead. I thought that looked kind of cool. Um, in the end, they're not as bright as I thought, so I may add some more, like, to those sides also, but, um, we're getting pretty much to the end of the time lapse. I do a little bit of this ground covering just to make it look a little bit more, I don't know, exciting, uh, change the intensity, and, uh, yeah, so let's get back to the real time. Okay, guys, we are back, and we are done with this building, at least for now, you never know. Uh, you know me, it's, <laughs> it's never done, right? So, uh, I think it's pretty cool. I like it. So, went ahead and put the African signs up here that I had, and I uh, think it works out pretty good. And then I just put some trees around. I'm not sure if I like the hedge or not. Let me know what you guys think. Is it too, like, I don't know, I'm going to say manicured. I think that's what you would call it. But, uh, yeah, so let's go in and see what we got in here. Um, I feel like I need to put some stuff on the walls, uh, here, like some African theme stuff. I don't know. We'll see. So, I got all of these, and as you guys could see in the uh, time lapse, I did go ahead and put some brackets here. I know, I mean, you don't see them, so it's not like... It's that big of a deal, but I just thought it added a little bit more, um, I don't know, believability to the fact that they're there on the wall. So, I like it. And then we've got, um, oh, excuse me. Okay. We've got this hallway down here, which I think I'm actually going to block this off because after this area is, um, the staff area so I'm going to do control X and I'm just going to do this and we'll just make this area blocked off here I'll have to look and see where the actual I think the yeah the doors by that pillar over there so I'm just gonna put it about here I think and just make sure it's not uh, well, maybe I need to bring it up like this. Okay, that way it's not going to be sticking out of the building. So, I think that's good. And that way we've just got this hallway, and then if you want to go in the staff area, it'll be this door. And I just put a couple of benches here just to give the staff somewhere to sit down if they want to. We've got the staff room there and the transformer here, which I kind of like this this little area here. Oops, except for that. See, <laughs> that's not good. So, yeah, I think uh, this is pretty good. Uh, again, you know me. I'll probably decide to change things around a little bit. But for now, it's done. And it's all set up where, you know... Everybody can use it, and the uh, the outside obviously is not very detailed once you get back to the back. 
which if we build habitats around the other side, I may add like windows and stuff like that. But I think it's pretty cool. I like it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Uh, I may try to add some in cinematics for you guys um, so you can see it at night and that kind of stuff. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Definitely hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit that bell so you can get notified of videos as they come out. And uh, definitely, oh, pizza, yummy. Uh, definitely leave those comments down below. Let me know what you guys think of this little, um, I don't know if you want to call it a shop area anymore, actually. Um, this food customer service info area. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know what you guys actually call this because I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, so until next time, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you will um, come back next time. I thought this was centered. Is it centered? I don't know. I thought it was, but it's a little off. So, uh, yeah, until then, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.